You'll find them driving around Bismarck and Mandan taking folks where they need to be. But there may be some changes happening with the bus service. KX News' Mary Gutenkoff has more from the Bisman Transit Station. Every five years, the Capital Area Transit System reviews and renews their development plan. Now they're in the final stages of reviewing the plan, and they're looking for public feedback. In previous years, officials say the nonprofit organization focused more on getting feedback from services in their plan. This year, however, the plan is more focused on the fiscal side of things because they're currently operating under a $1.3 million deficit. Right now we're funded through the Federal Transit Administration, um, property mills, um, and then some local revenue through like our advertising and, and bus fares. That's not enough for us to continue operating in the situation that we are right now. One way that they're looking to close the gap is through a minimal tax increase with maximal benefits. It was discussed uh, the opportunity to possibly ask for additional mills through the city of Bismarck and city of Mandan. Um, that one isn't viewed as favorably as the alternative, which would be um, a tenth of a cent sales tax. Um, with that tenth of a cent sales tax, we'd be able to close that gap um, and maybe have some leftover funding where we could look at um, additional services that we could offer the communities. Executive Director Deidre Hughes says the sales tax plan is in the developing stages and would need to go to a vote for the taxpayers, and that's why reviewing the development plan is so important. Hughes says you might not use the transit service, but there's still a need for it in our area. Transportation is a, a major barrier for people who are either new to our community or are maybe lower income, so having the public transit service around is trying to help the ec economy in the best way that we can. Hughes says taking a look at the plan can help you understand the system. And I think it's important for everyone to understand the structure, where our funding com comes from, what our goals are, and what we need to continue operating so we're not in a situation where we have to um, have substantial service cuts that might impact you know, someone that you know or yourself. Reporting for KX News, I'm Mary Gutenkoff. The transit plan will be taking public comment until October 24th uh, to read over the plan and give your input. You can find more information at kxnet.com.